So what does it mean to really create a business that you love? If you've heard the term before, life by design, I believe in a business by design that funds your life by design. And I don't think it's any accident that the word fund sounds like fun because the truth is when you have more funds, it is a lot more fun. To break things back into like, what are the action steps for this? What I like to ask my clients are questions like, well, one is how much do you want to be making? Like how much is going to cover your personal bills, your business bills, so that it's not a month to month situation. But sometimes, you know, if I'm working with a client who does need to quit a corporate job, how much money do you need to be making so you can quit the job or stop the other job? Okay, so there's like necessity questions, but what we wanna get to is into an element of abundance. And then what does your dream life look like? If you were writing down some of these questions, which I highly recommend you do, there was this great exercise I did years ago I'm not sure which exact um, mastermind I was in at the time. I've had so many millionaire and multi-millionaire mentors and read so many books, but I did a practice. And what we did was you actually mapped out like what your current budget is, like have a life budget, have a business budget. But then what you want to create is your dream life budget. And again, this is gonna be some lifestyle things and some business things, okay? And what that might look like is this. Let's say right now, you need $5,000 a month to survive. Let's just say 10 because it's just easier math. So you need $10,000 to pay all your personal bills and your family and your business expenses. But you know that you'd really like a coach like me, someone like me. And you know that maybe there's some other fun things like dance classes. I know for us, when we go to dance classes, it's $100 a visit. Over a month, that's another $400 a month. Not until just recent years would I have even looked at that as an extra expense because it did not fit into my budget. So again, what you want is your necessity budget and leave even wiggle room for extra things. But I wanna talk to you about your dream life and your dream business budget. How do you act actually then do what you want to be doing in your business, okay? And map these things out. So what things in your life are you missing out on? So are you missing out on baby, like you can't afford the babysitter so you and your husband don't ever get to go on date night? Well, that needs to change. You need some alone time. And then another thing, are you missing out on weekly massages because you can't afford 150 or $200 a month? Again, that's another $800 a month. Are you missing out on dance classes because they're $100 a visit? These things are financially based. So there's a wonderful lady, Shalene Johnson, if you haven't heard of her, I like the way that she talks about push goals. And those goals are goals that become heavier. So for example, if you had a goal you wanted to go to Japan next year, like I do, I really don't want to fly international again unless it's first class. So for me and the kids and Eli to fly first class is going to probably put us around 30, 40 K to Japan, round trip from Dallas. So $40,000 just for plane tickets, or we have points through a card or something. So how much more money do I need to be making by June next year in order to afford that kind of situation? Is everybody with me? You are missing out on things in life if the finances aren't there. And that's a push goal. So that goal pushes all the other things down. So everything I just mentioned, the babysitter, the massage, the traveling first class is affected by money. So money income flow is now a push goal that when it happens, if I had some dominoes lined up, it's going to dominate know the rest down because money is power and it is a push goal. It helps most of your other goals happen. So why I'm sharing all that is it's actually serious when you're not making enough to provide for you and your family. And I speak from a place of knowing because I built myself, my business from the ground up. You know, I wasn't always married and had insurance and I've had to pay for things out of pocket, my insurance, my hospital bills. And unless you have the cash flow from your business to do do that in an abundance above the minimums, life can get scary, stressful, and no fun. So I'm into fun and those funds need to come into play. Okay. So what you want to do is list out then your dream life. And what you're going to be surprised by is it's actually a lot more affordable than you realize. Like you actually don't need to be a millionaire to leave their dream life, even an abundant dream life, for example. So you've got your normal budget done, your business budget done, and now you're 
you're going to come over to your dream life, your dream business. So you want to add up at that point. Okay, how much would it be to be in the mastermind? And I like to do this more monthly rather than yearly. So you can be like, okay, how much do I need to make per month? So let's say you want to be in my mastermind, let's say $1,000 a month. So you're like, okay, I want to build that into my business budget because that's a write-off. Let's say that you wanted a VA full-time and that's another $1,000 a month. Okay, there's $2,000. All your softwares, all that stuff, any advertising budget. You're like, actually at $5,000 a month for my business, I'm going to definitely be able to quadruple that, right? Like I have a strategy. So then you're like, okay, I do want a weekly massage. I do want a monthly mani-pedi. You want to go to the really nice gym. That's a hundred dollars a month. What about in my business? If now I've invested this 5,000, I turn that into 20,000 the first month. Now I have 15,000 overflow. People don't realize how fast you can change your life when you go all in on yourself. And women, I want to talk to you for a minute. I actually have something super special for you for the 2024 year. I'm doing a hundred K and a hundred day challenge and it's going to be called shine. And it's not any of my other programs I've done. I've decided to open this up. It's kind of like just in my spirit, in my heart to do this for, and I'm only letting 25 women in and I'm not sure I'm going to continue after the first quarter. So this might be your only time to do this with me, but I want to share this with you. I work a lot with men and women. And what I have seen the difference is, is that men understand that they have to invest in business. And I get it because really we weren't even allowed to vote until a little over a hundred years ago. So you guys all need to understand as women, though things are changing, they are still not a hundred. We are still not paid as much in any corporate, any music business, any business business. It just is what it is still. We still need to fight for more though. So we are still the primary caregivers of children. And a lot of us are the main income earners in business. I have a client, she's almost at seven figures, still the main caretaker for the kids and for leading the whole team. And I see this over and over and over again with women. And I just want some real talk for you. But the men are out there understanding, you know what? Yeah, I need to invest the 5K. I need to invest this much. It's only been men getting my biggest programs this last year. And women, and this isn't to sell you my biggest program. This is to say, why? Why is it only men investing in something like a $50,000 thing, even on a payment plan, but not women? Then I help the men turn it into a multi-million dollar thing in a couple months. And the women once again are scrapping together $2,000. So women, I just want to empower you to tell you, you can change this and I'm changing it. I'm changing my financial blueprint. I'm changing the trauma from the past. I was raised in a family where truly I was told since I was born, I am not equal to a man. And I don't believe that we as women have brains. Do we not? Do we not have mouth and ears to hear and hearts that beat? So I want to empower you that you can learn to invest in yourself and in other things. That is how it's done. And you get to decide how you spend your time. So why I'm sharing all that is when you're just out and about and having fun and you really love and care for people and you're working on the things that you're really good at. I can't tell you guys how many times I just close deals on the go. But the thing is, I've done the preparedness work to receive that. I'm not just out here like, oh, I'll just sell you anything. I know what I'm doing. I have my websites up. I have my systems up. So then I can just go out and flow. And I want to teach you how to do that. But working a job you hate, working a business that's not your passion anymore, it's not serving you. You only get one life. So figure out how to exit strategy the business you don't love anymore, sell it, make some cash up front, and spend your time living a life you love and creating a business you love that funds your life you love. And that's the cycle. And that's how it's done. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this very specific shine mastermind. I met somebody I'll share this story before we go. I was going into a Lululemon a few weeks ago. The lady working there was pretty on it. And I said to her, I said, Hey, like, are you studying anything else? I kind of heard her talking to people, you know, sound like she's a local college student. And she's like, yeah, actually I'm studying marketing. But my parents told me that it's like almost impossible to make money in marketing. I almost spat on her laughing because <laughs> what? Like, you know, I grew up and pursuing music and everybody told me it was so hard to make money in the music business, which it absolutely is actually. <laughs> I actually still always managed it till I switched to marketing and I made way more money with marketing. And I said like, you know, anything you choose is gonna be hard to make a lot of money in. Hard meaning it's not impossible, but it takes discipline, it takes strategy, it takes like uncovering rocks, it takes being uncomfortable, but it's also extremely rewarding. And I was like, you know, I think it's funny you mentioned that because marketing was kind of my second career that connected 
commitment to my music career. And it's just been a huge blessing financially to me, to my clients, and to my life and family. If you say it's hard or impossible, then it will be. If you're so focused on something being hard or impossible, or it's for somebody else, not for me, that will be your reality. But if you decide today that like you're gonna make it in the thing that you desire to make it in, you're gonna uncover ways and you're gonna figure out, you know, your messaging might have to change, your branding might have to change, you might need a new funnel. But if you're just like, no, I know this thing brings value to the world, I'm gonna find my people who see it, you will. I have experience of doing that my whole life. I've done it since I was 11. I went to music class, started to play flute, and then I started doing competitions. At 16, I was getting paid. My own music teacher told me, you're not gonna make it. You started too late. You're not gonna get into Berkeley. I got into Berkeley, and the first gig I got booked was a paid gig in downtown Nashville at a festival in a highly competitive music city in the whole world. Because when you decide that you're gonna do that thing, and you put yourself out there, and you're positive, and you're loving to others, you can do it. But listen, don't limit yourself by what X said what, what person said what, what your dad said. Who are they? They're not you. This is your one life. This is your one life. And believe me, you are up for the challenge. You are a woman. You are powerful. And all you men too. And I'm here to also support my fellow women because I have done it. I am a self made woman. I sure am. I came from abuse, abuse, abuse growing up and my ex in the marriage before. And no, it cannot stop me because when something is for you, when you are made to go and do something great, you will overcome. But my passion is sharing through people and to help you do it with me. That's my personal passion. It's not just the cash flow. It's to say, I learned it. I want to help you too. So I'd love to know in the comments what what you do, what you're passionate about, what you're committed to, what you're grateful for from this year, but what you're done with this year. You're done undercharging, you're done not having boundaries or having contracts or having a lawyer, and you're done running your business like a hobby, and you're ready to scale, and you're ready to shine in 2024 with us. I couldn't have written that out better, but that is what it's called. And just know though that every day is a gift, and now is the only time you really have.